Hey guys, welcome back. Now we are going to make our craft for the book that we just read, How to Catch a Snowman. And in the book, the kids made all kinds of different trouts trying to catch the snowman. So today, we are going to make a snowman snowball shooter. Maybe you all can make one of these and then you can have like a snowball fight inside or outside because with this, we don't use real snow. And as always, I've got with me Kaylin today because school is out. Yes. All right. So to get started, the supplies that you're going to need to make this snowman snowball shooter is a white styrofoam cup. White is best because a snowman and snow is white. You're going to need some cotton balls. These are going to be our snowballs, but because we're going to use cotton balls, we can do this inside or outside and we won't make a mess. You're going to need a balloon, any color that you want to, to make it look like a hat on top of the snowman. And then we have Sharpies. We've got a black and an orange to make, to draw our face on our snowman. To get started on your styrofoam cup, you need to cut the bottom out, okay? So you may need to have an adult to help you with this because you're gonna have to use scissors to cut that out. Now, Kaylin is gonna draw the face of her snowman on her cup. And you can go by the picture. You can look up a snowman to see what a face looks like, or you can just create your own face of what you think your snowman would look like. And we're using an orange marker for the nose to make it look like a carrot. Because we all know that when you stick a nose on a, cat, on a snowman, you usually use a carrot. All right, so Kaylin has her face. See there? Now what you wanna do, you wanna take your balloon and you wanna cut off the bottom half of the round part of the balloon. You have the long part that you blow into to blow up your balloon, and then you have the round bottom part. And that is the part that you wanna cut off, the very bottom of it. Big enough to fit around the, around the bottom of your cup. And this part is a little hard too, so you're gonna need an adult to help you with this part. Do you see how we did that? It's easier if one holds the balloon and then one cuts the balloon, okay? Now, you're gonna wanna tie a knot in the top of your long part that you blow into to blow up your balloon. That's just to make it look more like a little hat. You don't have to do that part if you don't want to. And this part is sometimes hard. There we go. Now it looks like the little top of a, of a, of a bargain. Now you're going to stretch it out and you're going to put this part over your cup. <clears throat> now 
There you go. Just like Kaylin did right there. See there? See how it stretched over the top of that cup? Now comes the real fun part. You turn it over. You put your snowballs in there. You can use one or you can put multiples in there. Kaylin put three. Now, she's gonna pull on this part right here. She's gonna pull down. Hold this part where your balloon is onto your cup, pull down, and then you're gonna let go. And when you let go, watch what happens. Did y'all see that? All those snowballs, cotton balls, popped out. Like a little cannon. That is so cool. So here we go. Whee! Guys, this is such a fun little craft to make. It is easy, it takes just a very few supplies, and you can have hours of fun with it. And like I said, it's supposed to get really, really cold. So you can play with this inside or outside. Guys, if y'all don't have the supplies to make this at home, you all can come by the library and we can give you the supplies to make this, okay? I hope you guys have tons of fun with this and guys stay warm right Kaylin mm -hmm. stay warm because it's gonna get cold and it's supposed to snow but if you guys make one of these and you play with it send us a picture or a video of you playing with this and because I would love to see what you guys come up with okay stay warm bye